The trick to multiplying rational expressions really comes down to just making sure you cancel everything you can top and bottom in both expressions before you actually do the multiplication because it makes your life a lot easier. You end up working with much smaller numbers. So here we have uh, a over 16b to the 8th times 4b cubed over 5a squared. So top and bottom, things that are the same include a to the first here. Oops, need a different tool. a to the first up there which cancels with one of the a's down here. So now we have a to the first on the bottom and just a one up here. Uh, four would cancel into 16, leaving a four down here and a one up here. b cubed, that's b times b times b. You can take away three of the eight b's down here, leaving b to the fifth. And that's it. We really get rid of everything on the numerator. All we have left up there is one. So we have one over 4b to the fifth, 4b to the fifth times 5a. So that gives us 4 times 5, which is 20, b to the fifth times a. So on the numerator, we keep our 1. We have 20a b to the fifth. For example, b, we have 9x squared times 4y squared over 21x to the fourth. So 9 is 3 times 3, and 21 is 7 times 3. So those can cancel and leave a 7. And then x squared cancels with x to the fourth, leaving two of them. So that gives us 4y squared over 7x squared. And that's as far as that goes. So then, for example, c and d. For example, c, we have 4x plus 12 over 3x squared times x over x squared minus 9. Now I'm going to factor these first to see what things are common a little more easily. So we'll have 4 times x plus 3 on top. And we'll keep our 3x squared down here times x over, this is the difference of squares. So this would be x plus 3 times x minus 3. So now we have an x plus 3 down here, which cancels there. And we have an x, which cancels with one of these. And 4 doesn't cancel with 3. So we're left with 4 over 3x times x minus 3. And then for our last one, we have 3x plus 18 over 4x squared plus 19x minus 5 times x squared plus 3x minus 10. So this really could be written this way. And we need to factor as much as we can. So we'll pull out the 3 on top. So we'll have 3 times x plus 6 over, it looks like that's going to factor as what, x plus 5 times 4x minus 1, x plus 5 times 4x minus 1, and then this one over here is going to factor as x minus 2 times x plus 5, looks like, over 1. Then we can cancel x plus 5s, and x plus 6, 4x minus 1, Nope, that's about it. So then we end up with 3 times x plus 6 in the numerator times x minus 2 from the other numerator over 4x minus